Hello everybody and welcome back to the IGLPR series. It's been a while. I've been taking a break and getting some gaming juices going. Uh, <clears throat> today we are looking at Pixel Are You Square um, by uh, C63 Industries. Uh, this is uh, a game I've seen screenshots and I've seen a little bit of gameplay action, not a lot, but I don't know what it's all about. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this game blindly. We're going to go through and try and figure out how to play the game, uh, see how intuitive it is, how much fun it is, and all that stuff. We're going to be critiquing the interface, the user experience, and stuff like that. The first thing I'm going to have to say is you don't save your audio settings when somebody sets it down to like 1% and then exits the game. When I came back into the game, I tried to do a recording before, but... Before I even got into any gameplay, uh, family got home and I had to stop recording. So, nobody home today. And uh, anyway, when I came back into the game, it was back up to uh, full volume again, which is not a very happy thing for me. You need to save settings that players make so that uh, when they come back in, it's the way they left it. So, uh, let's go ahead and click back and we're going to... Take a look at the settings. We have audio, which is where I went in, music and sound. That is awesome. We've got it all split up, and you've even got the master, which makes me happy. Thank you very much for that. Um, video, there is a lot of information here. So you have your background, your edges, uh, grayscale, color blindness. Thank you very much. I am not colorblind, but uh, if we turn that to yes, it changes things up slightly. Um, I'm not sure exactly how. But I've got friends who are colorblind and an uh, um, ex-brother-in-law who is. So having the ability to set it up so that if you're colorblind you can still play the game, it, it's great. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep everything the way it is. Um, this is 720p and the camera is 30 default and depth 30. So that's all fine. And input. Let's see what we have. Um, I'm going to use the Xbox controller because that makes me happy now let's see here can we use our directional pad to make selections it doesn't look like I can make any selections here so we're gonna keep that I'm gonna use the mouse to click back but we're gonna take a look we have move left is left JL right JL jump is triggers flip is trigger Flip down and up are undefined. Run and walk and toggle run walk are undefined. Shoot weapon is joystick right. Previous weapon is D-pad. Okay, so we're going to change um, previous weapon. Well, we're going to have to take a look at the, the stuff. So we're going to click back and back. And we're going to try hitting play now. Um, we're not going to look at studio right now. We saw a cre uh, credit. So this is a review for devs. And uh, we're going to go through. We're going to critique the game and review it and play it so that dev can see what I'm talking about as I'm playing it. This really is not for marketing purposes or for um, players to figure out if they want the game. By all means, please watch if you want to. Um, but this review is not meant for players. It is meant strictly for the developer so that they can take a look and see if there are any issues that are going on and how a person who has never played their game reacts to their game. And that is why I'm not reading any instructions. I'm not reading how to play. I'm not doing any research outside of loading the game and starting to play it because that's me. That's how I run it. And this is a usability test. Normally there would be a script. Um, walk over here and jump. Pull the trigger and fire at an enemy. You know, that kind of thing. And um, the person who's playing it would have a face cam on and they'd be um, following the script and explaining what they're doing and how it makes them feel and that's, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's how usability tests are run. And all this information is kept up on a questionnaire and notes that the developer takes. And the de developer can then use the information gathered from many usability tests, not just one, to make informed decisions on user interface and the user experience. 
Some of the things that um, you look for when you're doing a usability test is the number of clicks it takes to do simple things. Like if I want to exit the game, um, I get email. Well, when you want to exit the game, what happens uh, when you click exit? Does it take you to another screen where you have to click exit again um, and then confirm that you want to exit? When you click exit, does it ask you if you really want to exit? Then it asks you if you really, really, really want to exit? That kind of thing. Um, so we're going to see just how well this works and uh, hopefully it will be cool so we're gonna play the hello world level because that looks like it's a tutorial alright greetings pixel welcome to existence I am Phoenix the operating system you are currently running on alright I pressed A uh, it's a stick mover. That is a wall. You now know that you cannot pass through a wall. You have been compiled for a reason. Now please hurry up. You are costing me valuable resources. So... Oh! What are you doing up the here? You should not be flipping yet. You're about to reach an access port. It will transfer you to a new file. So that's jumping. Okay, so flipping, you don't have to do that next to a wall. And uh, we're going to go into the menu. Thank you, you can get to settings, and we're going to set the audio for the sound down to about 20%. Alright, back, back, and score okay back and we hit escape no do we click no um, exit level all right you need to have a resume on there so that you can continue resuming so yeah it's a better sound there's a jump okay so firing what are you doing here you should not be flipping it Firing does go in nor not normal angles, but I'll tell you one thing. Um, we'll have to see how it works, and it's not firing constantly. So let's go through. My first instinct is to hit A to jump, not that right trigger button. Learn controls. Learn the controller schemes. ENIAC. Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, or ENIAC, was the first general purpose computer. Would you like to know more? Um, and how do you get to move around and select the options if you're using an Xbox controller? You should not be flipping back and forth between mouse and controller, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. Barriers like the one on the right you will only allow you to pass a certain color to pass through. Good thing you are the correct color. And I want to use a directional pad. So let's go in. We're going to change these settings because um, the default settings are jackass stupid. Move left. There we go. Move right. There we go. Jump. We're going to do up on the D-pad flip we're gonna flip down on the d-pad there we go run is going to be trigger left walk will be bumper left and toggle walk and run um, hmm let's just try the Y key so previous weapon Oh, actually we don't want to have the bumper for walk um, walk will be X, toggle walk run will be that, okay, uh, shoot weapon, yeah, uh, previous weapon is going to be the left bumper, next weapon is the right bumper, previous ammo is going to be, yeah, left trigger, next ammo will be the right trigger, pause start, suicide is back, reset is undefined which we can't really define it. 
Now the trigger left is going to be there, so we're going to go ahead and um, we will use the B for run, even though I want to use A. So we're going to be firing, we're not going to be using that jackass uh, controller in back and exit level play hello world here let's try this now okay that feels a little bit better there we go and then yeah continue so here we go let's let's use the mouse all right other color barriers will only allow those specific colors to pass through. So we come through here and we fall down here. I guess we are now yellow and we can pass down to red. Alright, now we're pink and we can exit. Alright, so let's jump up. Alright, maybe we can't do that yet. Come in here. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and change this. Okay, we can't go through any of that. Black. Blue, ah, uh, red is what we want. Why is that changing us between pink and all that? Green, come here. There we go. Odd. Okay, we had to flip. Alright, Neanderthal cave art. This is the earliest known art. It was made by Neanderthals over 40,800 years ago. Would you like to know more? Continue. Alright, jump over that. Okay, it's essentially you're able to jump and flip over obstacles. The longer you jump, the higher you'll go. Alright, so I... We can't go through there. Let's flip. This is a save state. Well, let's flip. There we go. Different colored weapons. All right, so here we go. My guess is this is a uh, pass through in one direction, but not the other, as I figured. Oh, and that flipped it. Okay. Mm hmm. There we go. And we exit. Earth from the moon. This is the first picture of Earth taken from the moon. Okay. Nine would continue. All right. So let's get going. Uh, be careful. This area is full of dangerous pixels that have been infected with a the virus. There's an infected pixel up ahead. In the lower right, you can see your weapon information. Okay. Let's see what happens if we do this. Alright, this pixel appears to not want to attack you. I do not know why. Alright, let's uh, not be able to contain the other pixels. They have already started to damage things. Do we need 
yellow. Okay, use the color blue against this pixel. Alright, pixels can only can be any size. Being bigger does not mean tougher. What color does this guy use? Let's try that. Yeah, okay. So, it looks like when you're looking at the weapons, um, it'll tell you what color you need. So let's jump through here. Red needs blue. Alright, let's try pink. Uh, let's try a different weapon. Okay, no. Yellow isn't working. Maybe it is. Looks like it's changing the color of the pixel. We want it to be orange, maybe? I mean, like, how can you tell what color this needs to be? So, I'm making it yellow. Oh well. There's no real interesting explanation as to why. Oh! And I meant to do that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. This is an image of the blah 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 virus. Continue. I don't know what this uh, whole art thing is, but hey. Firing is very inaccurate. And apparently I died. There we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, that kills you, okay. Huh. This is odd. And I'm slowly changing to the color white as this thing fires at me. And I want to see I wanted to see what would happen if I could move this. Alright, now I can't get anywhere around because uh, I've... There we go. I'm going to push this guy. And see what happens here. Oh, that went away. Okay. So, I'm a bit of a loss for words. Didn't really know. Let's try going this way. When you're in the air, you can't flip, okay? 
that makes sense. Um, can't get through that. I have to go through here. And I do not want to be sitting here. Let's change the weapon. Looks like it's green to get rid of the pink. It makes so much sense. Huh. Alright, so... We're trying to get to that place up there. And I keep falling, all right. A bit of a loss for words on how you actually get around this. Hmm. You can fire. You can flop your weapons around. You can run, you can walk. And you die when you get there. So it's obviously something I'm missing. It doesn't look like you can get anywhere around this. Let's. No. It's running and walking and jumping. Weapons don't do anything. Let's change to this. Alrighty. Definitely a. Th oh, I want that one. Let's change. Green doesn't seem to do anything. Cyan. No. Blue. Magenta. There we go. It looks like there's something. Get rid of that guy. I think we're trying to get up there, but I don't see any way to get around. The walls can't be destroyed. That's the run toggle. Hmm. I don't see any way around it. So if we come over here, we're going to die. If we come over here, we die. I keep wanting to hit the A button to jump. Okay. Huh. I am at a loss for words on this one. Uh, let's see here. We can move that down. Alright, 
that pushes that down there. Come on, take him out. Okay, we finally got him. Luckily, this thing is... We can actually push it this way. So I think this guy here needs to be pushed down and that guy has to be destroyed somehow or we write it. So let's try writing it. Get that guy pushed. Yep, there we go. Up. Oh. And there we go again. Yep, 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 yep. Missed it. Here we go. Let's go. It's got me thinking, definitely. Want to see what happens? Okay, so it will fall through. This is not an easy puzzle. drop him down. Now what we're going to do is this. Ah, almost got it. There we go. Let's hit that save point. Ah. And now we have a whole new way to look at the map. Oh, we can't go this way. We have to go up this way now. Now, if I'm correct, this is all one way. Yep, we can't do anything there. And we have to jump up here become green huh and that causes us to fall out okay so I'm a little bit better maybe we need to go to another one go. Now we know going that way we will fall to our doom. See here, can we get up there? No, we can't. So we have to go this way. 
Um, now which way do we go from here? And we fall to our doom again. Loom. Guess we go. We have to make our way out to the top, it looks like. Woo! Alright, and then we do this, I think. And then we let ourselves fall this way. I don't think we're going to survive this one. And that's going to kill us. Alright. So, welcome to the experimental stage, my friends. Welcome. So here we are, we're green. Let's get up here. And it looks like we want to try and get down here. Oh, there, we can actually go down here. Um... We want to jump the other way. Let's get up here. All right. Alright, we're stuck in here. Let's just kill ourselves off. Do 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 do. Now going the other way is not gonna help, okay? Ah! Press the wrong button. La 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 la. I'm green now. Interesting. Let's drop down here, okay. see any way to get back around to that side without dying. Hmm. And that kills me. I don't see any way to become red. And all I did was continue. Ah, let's change that. Um, <laughs> settings, input. Oh boy, A is going to be the flip. It said press A key, and I did. Flip, flip down, flip up. We don't need that. So there we go. As far as I'm aware, we don't need that. Let's keep seeing what's going on back, and we're going to have to check out our score. Yeah, 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 back. Exit level. Why? So we have to go through all this stuff again. Continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go through, we drop, we turn yellow because we lose green. Because this makes absolute sense. Mm. 
Okay, so... Alright. Settings, input, flip is going to be that, jump is going to be A. There we go. Back, back, exit level. Why? Why don't you have the ability to control the menu with your controller? Alright, so, see what graphic is? Alright, there we go. Uh, much better. And uh, while we're at it, let's go into settings. Input. Flip down. Flip up. And uh, we'll change this to something that I haven't used. We've got BX and Y. Uh, no, we'll do mouse 3. Back. Exit level. Play. Graphic. Now that flips up and flips down. There we go. This jumps, which is... Okay, so we subtract that. We... Can't go through. We're going to subtract green. Add red. So now we need to get to maroon. And exit. Neanderthal cave art. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, continue. Now this is the one we can't go that way. So let's go like this and save. Alright, we fall out of the sky. You ba do do. Change the orientation. Do to do do. And then we exit. Continue. Alright, is there any way? Let's. That guy didn't want to hit us, so let's lose red. Oh, and get these. Use the color blue against yellow pixel. And we want a rapid fire. save find the color that works against that looks like it was yellow changing that to orange looks like it I don't think we were meant to destroy these things ah there we go much faster with green sorry for the super sounds there let's see what turns that thing to white ah there we go Alright, 
enough, 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 enough. Here we go, we're gonna save, and jump up, and then jump down and go. Continue, pow. Now this is the one where we have to go through and kill that dude. And why don't we keep the same weapon that we just had? So here we go. You go first, I did. Oh no. Don't even know what color. I don't like the inaccuracy of the weapon. There we go. Ah, uh, that didn't work. And down and around and here we go. Oh, missed. Jump up, ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop, too. La da 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 da. Just jumping around. I'm starting to get really irritated with the game. I mean, it's a solid game, and I missed. Okay. Um. Just that there's something missing. I mean, with all these controls that it has. And now. And there we go. Now we can jump up and save. And come over here. And we jump. So we subtract the blue and become green. You need to have some sort of... Uh, uh, how do I want to say, you need to have a degree in color stuff here. Okay. So, how do we handle this? Go down, okay. Some, oh, uh, because its physics are still the physics that it is used to. Okay, so here we go. And I can't get through there. So that is pointless. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Ah, because I pushed up. Okay, gotcha. There's no way that I can get down in there that I can see without turning red. And 
And I really want to do that. Jump down there and flip. But I can't do that. I'm pretty sure I have to go this way. And dropping down any of these... That'll get me up into th there, but I'm I can't turn red. That lets me do that. Well, let's flip down. Up. Uh, yeah. No way to get in here. And I fall to my death again. Okay. So I'm probably making a lot of mistakes here because of my unwillingness to read rules and stuff like that. Let's flip this up and get right here and fall to my death. Yeah, do -do -do -do. It's a good thing pixels are artificial constructs and they can just be regenerated over and over again. And there I go. Yep, do -do -do. Okay, I'm, I'm really starting to lose patience with the game, actually. Let's just see. Let's just see something here. I can't get up there. And there I go, falling to my death again. <sighs> Let me change the settings so that um, up and down don't do the flips. <laughs> How do we want to flip? Back, back, exit level, play, I think it's physics, yeah, that looks like, um, no, we don't want that, settings, input, flip down will be that, flip up will be this, Joystick left, it doesn't even say up, down, left, or right. Okay, well. Antivirus, no, we don't want that one. Play, it was syntax error, is that right? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so we need what was it green and we need that Yellow for the pink, I guess. All right. Input, flip, let me trigger left, back, back. Resume would be nice there, but I guess, uh, there we go, that's, that's a lot better. Er. Is it 
green. Blue. Yeah, and then I need yellow. I thought I had yellow, I guess I didn't. Take it out, there we go. I think that was green. Nope. Cyan. Okay, change it maroon. Let's try yellow now. This is all just a guess. Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, it still stays. Now this lets me get out here. Do I jump up this way? There we go. That took me long enough, didn't it? Uh oh. Constantly moving. Oops. Move, move, move. Here we go, running. Jump and then uh run 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 flip run 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 flip nope run 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 flip run 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 flip run 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 slow jump and then flip and then flip and jump 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 flip oh no run run flip run 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 flip run 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 jump Flip, flip, jump, jump, flip, nope. If you could flip in midair, that would be so much nicer. Flip, flip, jump, jump down, what the heck? Run, flip, run, jump, and then flip, and then flip, jump, jump. And then flip, and then flip. Oh no! Flip, run, 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 flip, run, 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 flip, and jump, flip, flip, jump, jump, flip, and then that didn't work. Flip, run, 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 flip, and jump, jump. Oh, that didn't work again either. Run as fast as you can. Run as fast as you can. Then jump and jump over here. Then flip. 
and flip and jump and yeah this is not an easy one oh, this makes it a lot more challenging there we go and then down and then jump and of course I missed the jump so and there we go flip what the hoo ha okay can't dilly dally can't dilly dally this is super challenging one there we go so yep I fell to my death again and again this is going to be the death of me many times over whoa there we go jump flip it's a flipping ah okay I thought I had flipped I guess I hit the jump button on accident here we go hmm Well, this is an interesting platformer. I tell you what, uh, again, I keep wanting to flip in the middle of a jump, which I think would make for some interesting dynamics. I almost want the pixel to just be sticky on things and then be able to and then be able to actually do weird dinet um weird aerial maneuvers that would be really cool to stick to stuff and uh be able to flip in mid air but then somebody could abuse it by constantly flipping all right i should have jumped there all right and not being able to know the map is kind of wonky as well because then you can't anticipate what you need if you're playing it for the first time Okay, here we go again. If I don't make it through this time, I'm going to say zippity doo da day. Start, start, back, 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 escape, exit level. All right, so first things first. You need to save all your audio settings and everything when you, you quit the game. It should all be backed up so when you go in you have everything right there and available. Input. Flip. Flip down. Flip up. Get rid of the flip down and flip up and just have flip. That's the best thing. Um, move left, move right. Um, that's cool. That's all you really need to do. Walk and run. Um, just have the toggle walk and run while it's depressed. You run. Um, and when it's when it's depressed you run when it's uh, normal you walk that's all you need to do shoot the weapon using the joystick it actually was rather inaccurate when you went in the high speed mode and I understand that but any other mode that I tried I may have missed a couple of weapons it didn't seem like the weapons were all that interesting previous weapon next weapon yeah that's fine um, previous ammo next ammo that was fine so how do you know what color is going to defeat something else without dying several times in the process of figuring out what to use? That is a uh, artificial challenge. It is you need to have some sort of uh, idea of what color will destroy another color. Um, you can't rely on the player's ability to understand color theory in order to do that. Oh, minus blue is going to turn us orange. What? what, what? Minus red is going to turn us purple. 
huh? That that's kind of weird. Um, I mean, it's a cool mechanic and all, but uh, you're expecting people to understand the color wheel. Oh, if I'm green and I touch that blue, I turn into cyan. Oh, if I um, if I'm cyan and I touch the blue, I turn into green. Most people don't think in terms of RGB and what happens when you take away R, when you take away G, and when you take away B. Um, even though I know in my head that R and G is yellow, um, R and B is purple, G and B is cyan, and then you get your red, green, and blue. But you have other colors like white and black and um, stuff like that. So there's some weirdness going on there. Um, there needs to be some way for somebody to know what happens when they hit it, when they hit the minus button, uh, minus blocks and all that. Also to know when you're shooting at something, what color bullet do you need to kill it? Um, I mean, do you need to turn it black? Do you need to turn it white? Um, I saw it turning white and then it disappeared. That really didn't make a lot of sense because essentially you gave it all colors and then killed it. Um, or you took away all color and then killed it. It's it's weird because RGB all together is white and RGB all minus is black. So you have to turn everything white to kill it. And you've got to know, based on its current color, what colors to add to make it white. I don't really understand that. Pause. I hit start button on the controller. did not work. Suicide is a back button. Suicide just restarts the level. Okay. Um, maybe suicide can restart the level and pause it. Or suicide will bring up um, the menu. I actually think that if you hit start, you bring up the menu. And you should have a way to get from the menu back to the game you're currently in. Um, as it stands now, the escape menu is pretty useless when you're in game. Also, when you are in the game and you're using a controller, like my Xbox 360 controller to control the game, don't rely on the mouse to click buttons. Allow us to use the directional pad to um, move around, or at the very least, you can tie the mouse to a cursor. That would work the best. Overall, I the game has a lot of challenge. There's a lot of artificial challenge. It took me a while to figure out that one level. Um, but once I finally figured it out, it was cool. Um, and then you've got this one where you have to flip and jump and jump and flip and flip and jump and jump and flip and flip and flip and flip and flip. Yeah. Um, that got my heart racing because I had no way of knowing what was coming up. Do I flip? Do I jump? Do I jump? Do I flip? And running is a no-no on anything but the long straightaways. So trying to run and jump through this, um, Mario is nowhere near that level of complexity. That flip um, is really something that's going to screw with you. Um, one of the things that I think you should allow is the ability to flip the map once while you're jumping in the air, not multiple times, because I can see somebody using that to use gravity against the game and just float through the air. But if you jump and you flip, you should be able to automatically flip the screen once and then they have to land and then when they jump they can flip again but they have to touch ground between flips I think that would be uh, a better mechanic for doing the jumping flipping stuff it'll provide a lot more challenge and interesting things you can do in the map um, well in the game itself now the whole flip mechanic um, I found it really strange um, the way you had your default set up it um, let's move with the thumbstick. Don't move with the thumbstick. That is not a good way to do it. I'm glad you have the way to change the key mapping, so that makes me very happy. Um, but when you're trying to figure out the game to start, your default controls leave little to be desired. Um, let's go back. And let's take a look at the studio. What does the studio do? All right, it allows you to go ahead and create a map, it looks like. So let's see your level, gravity, south. Okay, back. 
uh, music. We'll go with dolphin back. Image. Save. Okay. Uh, back. Now AI. Now back. Entity block. All right, so we can go ahead and, oh boy. You have to click individually, you can't just draw. So you have to keep clicking and clicking and clicking. And if you move with the mouse button down, all right. Uh, goal, let's put the goal here. That's fine. Um, player's going to start here. I have a barrier right here. All right. And uh, triggers, we want a cyan trigger. There we go. Back. Back. Test. So we're red. And see that trigger. Let's add cyan to red, which is add green and blue to red. Um, yeah. All right. Now, to tell you the honest truth, um, the game needs a lot of improvement, I think. Really exit. Okay. The game needs improvement. I mean, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting uh, game, and I think it would be great as a platformer, but... Uh, you need to put in a much better tutorial to understand how the color um, addition and subtraction parts work. You need to uh, explain what the little IOs are. When Are they coins? Are they power-ups? What do they do? I don't know. Um, you need to have a tutorial where you actually, instead of box exit, you need to have this is how you jump. This is how you flip. This is how you add and subtract colors. This is what happens when you add or subtract colors. Get the person used to the game before throwing them into the stuff. That hello world was, here's a box, here's an exit. Okay, so you learn how to use an exit. That's fine. But the goals really didn't do much. Um, so I think better tutorial levels explaining what the game is and does would be better. Um, I do like the, the flavor in the background. That's uh, your pixel in a computer system and it's being corrupted and you're trying to uh, defeat the corruption, that's that's pretty fun there. As for the controls, I've already explained those. Um, this menu right here, the Play Studio Settings Credits and Exit Game. When you're in-game, replace Play with Resume, and uh, probably Studio with um, Settings, and get rid of the settings, uh, move the credits up, and exit game should be in there as well. So you need to work on your menus a little bit better, and you need to work on your default controls. Uh, the Everything else, the audio, the sound, and all that was pretty cool. So uh, overall, I give this probably a 2.5 out of 5 stars for fun, and uh, would I play it again? Only if there's a major update, I'll play it again. Uh, I pretty much played the crap out of... Uh, that one level and I don't ever want to visit it again and uh, that tells me that the game really didn't keep my attention long enough to want to play it again recommend it to others I'll recommend it yeah um, I'll recommend people play it try and see what they think and make their own decision personally this game while it could be a good platformer while it has the potential um, it just isn't there yet so until next time, enjoy playing games. Go out and try Pixel. Um, Pixel, are you squared? Uh, you may find it fun. 
you may find it frustrating. I think it's going to be one of those love-hate kind of games. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. The more people who like, favorite, and subscribe, the happier I am, because I know people are watching stuff. And outside of um, views, I get to see that people enjoyed it. Uh, leave comments if you didn't. Leave comments telling me if I missed something or whatever, or if you have a um, a game that you want to uh, want me to do an IGLPR, just uh, PM me on um, YouTube or contact me um, on Twitter at Excalibur Zone. Please visit www.patreon.com slash Excalibur Zone. You'll find the link in the description and uh, become a patron. Just a dollar a month. It's less than a soda in the United States. Um, and that will get me that much closer to my dream of being able to do this full time. As always, that's Excalibur, and I am out. <laughs>